so hi all welcome to uh, welcome back to our youtube channel in the previous video we discussed about classes and objects and in this video we will be discussing about what we will be discussing certain examples about classes and objects we were able to uh, define classes we were able to uh, define basically static class also and uh, an interactive class so basically with the help of what self uh, parameter of course and uh, a self uh, basically defined function a uh, parameter and followed by what followed by constructor basically a definite function all right and we also saw how to basically create multiple functions within a class and how to call that particular function with the help of an object in this uh, basically video we will be looking at what we will be looking at certain examples related to class so uh, we'll continue from here we did uh, the last program the last code that we did in python was what was basically our class sum basically summation of two numbers and ultimately providing its uh, summation whatever number we enter all right it will provide its summation so we used a definite function uh, connected uh, it uh, the parameters of definite function with the self parameter that is to the class and uh, created another function and connected it again with the with the class by using the self parameter added two numbers again we used self dot x plus self dot y this is necessary whether when you are inside a class all right and when you are adding the parameters of the definite function all right so this is what it is let us take an example of uh, the let's say we have to apply all the uh, arithmetic basically the necessary arithmetic operators that are used mostly in python so we'll take a function uh, we'll take a class let's say class arithmetic all right followed by what followed by defining of the definite function def double underscore init double underscore all right self comma a comma b all right and next we'll do one next we'll basically self dot a a b uh, conscious of the spelling mistake self dot b is equal to b all right b conscious of the spelling mistakes all right next we'll do what we'll basically create def arithmetic all right or let's say def uh, display all right connect it with the class all right, and followed by what followed by um, return return all right uh, just like we did it in the previous one self dot x plus self dot y we will uh, compute all the arithmetic operators that we have discussed self dot x plus self dot uh, y that is the addition I'm sorry, we have taken uh, variable as a and the other variable as b, comma self dot a minus self dot b, comma self dot a asterisk self dot b, comma self dot a divided by self dot b, comma self dot a. Uh, double asterisk asterisk that is your exponentiation self dot b self dot a flow division self dot b so we have done almost all the uh, almost all the arithmetic operators that we have discussed and that are mostly used in python so this is what it is next we'll do what we'll basically create an object of the class all right uh, i'm sorry class arithmetic all right class arithmetic and uh, call out two values all right next we'll do what we'll basically uh, with the help of the object call the function and display the output so this is what it is 5 plus 2 7 5 minus 2 3 5 into 2 10 all right um, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 one more is left that is the modulus one all right one more is left that is the module self dot a self dot b so the modulus one has also come 
so this is how we basically this is how we basically apply what uh, apply uh, basically call classes call parameters of uh, classes define parameters of classes all right so and this was one example all right uh, let us do or let us have a look at an other example let's say we want to calculate the pythagoras theorem so class pythagoras all right pythagoras uh, let us do or let us uh, define the init function df double underscore init double underscore init self comma a comma b let us take uh, p p as perpendicular if you want to know more about uh, what hypo uh, basically hypotenuse is what pythagoras theorem is you can do what you can basically refer to our functions uh, code functions uh, tutorial all right so this is what our next what we'll do is that next we'll basically connect self dot a with a of course self dot uh, p with a p sorry p with p and self dot b is equal to b next we'll do what df we'll do what we'll basically display connect with self all right we'll do what we'll basically calculate the hypotenuse all right so hypotenuse is equal to h is equal to b into b plus p into p all right but it is what it is an under square of that it is basically an under root of that all right h is equal to under root of a square plus b square or b square plus p square b is your base of the triangle p is your perpendicular of the triangle all right so we will do what we will uh, return the root of h next we'll do what we'll basically call the basically create an object class first pythagoras all right enter two values three comma four and call out the function with the help of an object display all right so this is display it says b not defined b is not defined uh self dot p p all right so we have the problem over here is that we have not we haven't used self over here when they are they are what they are classes parameters all right so when we apply they're just like we did over here all right when we apply them in a function inside a class then we need to apply self whenever there is definite function and self parameter involved same goes for p also all right so this is what it is and we've got our answer so these type of mistakes keep on happening mistakes can make us learn so that is what it is uh, so that's how we basically create a, a pythagoras theorem and print its hypotenuse all right so this is what it is let us do what let us uh, create a class create a class and a uh, print its list create a class let's say lst1 all right and uh, let's define it in a definite function all right remember there should be double underscore all right a uh, self comma a let us take a only self dot a is equal to a df display one all right self all right next we'll do what we'll basically return self dot a all right uh, we'll do what we'll create uh, object of the class lst1 and enter what simply enter a list 5 comma 2 comma 7 comma 4 comma 1 all right next when i am obj1 dot display 1 it will show me what it will show me a list it will also show me a list when i write obj1 dot a basically this is what is the parameter of the class or the property of the class all right so this is what it is uh, now let us do what let us create another class lst2 
and do what let us uh, basically uh, calculate the mean of the list all right uh, this the question is to basically declare a list and calculate the mean of the list so that is what the question is now there is no function for calculating the mean of the list so how will we do that let us have a look at it how do we do we calculate the mean all right avg underscore list that means average of list connected to uh, with self next we'll do what how do we calculate the mean of the list so basically mean is what mean is your uh, summation of all the elements divided by total number of elements all right so how do we summate a list it is very simple uh, summating a list all right let us do what let us uh, uh, create it in a in an object l in a, in a variable l and let us print l so l is what let us print the type of l so l is what l is the list all right uh, how do we uh, summate a list sum l so it will give us what it will give us the sum of the entire element. 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 7 14 14 plus 4 18 18 plus 1 19 so 19 it is given all right then divide what length total number of elements of what l it will give us the mean so 19 divided by 5 total number of elements are what total number of elements are 5 to count the elements it will count to 5 if you want to cross check it just len l and you will get it all right so 19 by 5 is what 3.8 3.8 is the average of the mean similarly we will do what over here we will do summation of self dot a divided by len of length of self dot a all right uh, and we'll do what we'll basically use it under a return statement all right um all right uh, let me do what let me basically create an object class lst2 and uh, let's say we have a list 8 comma 11 comma 15 comma 17 comma 25 so what we'll do is the obj2 dot avg underscore list basically we are doing what we are basically calling the function with uh, the class function with the help of an object so it will give us what it will give us the mean of that particular list or average of that particular list all right now let us do what i i have a list i have a list all right where is that list obj1 dot a all right obj1 dot a is the list or obj1 dot display all right and now i want to calculate the mean of this particular list that is in a uh, class lst1 without using what without uh, calculate without creating a function for mean without creating a function for mean i want to use this particular class and calculate the mean of this particular class all right so how will i do that so let us do what so we have obj1 dot a all right equals to 5 to 7 4 1 and we have obj2 dot a as 8 11 all right so what we'll do is that we'll basically obj1 dot a and assign it to what We'll assign it to obj2 dot a. So obj1 dot a will become what? Obj1 dot a will become 8 11 by 2. So let me do what? Let me do the reverse of it. Just a second. Uh, I want to do what? I want to calculate the uh, mean of obj1 dot a. All right, obj1 dot a. So we will assign it to. All right, let me rerun it. All right, so we'll assign obj1 dot a to obj2 dot a all right so obj2 dot a will was earlier 8 11 15 17 25 and now it is 5 to 7 4. now we have stored it in obj2 what we'll do is that we'll basically simply uh, call avg underscore list and we'll get the mean of it which is 3.8 we can store any other list obj2 dot a all right and we can do what we can basically Calculate its mean obj2 dot avg underscore list. All right. And we'll get what we'll get our mean of the list. So this is how we basically we can connect object uh, of a different class to a to another class. All right. And uh, this is how we can update a list in, a, in an object. We can update similarly array dictionary also in an object depending on our 
uh, problem depending on a question, the question that is asked. All right. So this is what classes and objects are about. In the next uh, video, we will be discussing about what we will be discussing more about what is inheritance, what is encapsulation. All right. And um, uh, Diwali holidays are coming. More and more uh, content will be uploaded on the channel. We will be more regular from now on. Till uh, In the meanwhile, keep watching, keep liking, sharing, and keep on subscribing. Thanks a lot, everyone.